and somebody recommended me to Lucia Chase, and she asked me to come and audition for her. So I took a class for her to see me, and it was a, a Russian teacher. And I couldn't understand quite what she was asking for. She asked us to finish with what this. I said, you know, that's when they twirl like that, you know? So I said, oh, now or never, I have to show off <laughs> because I'm not doing so well. So I did I, as many as were required, and then I pulled in without counting and landed on the floor. <laughs> I took a spill, and uh, Lucia Chase said, oh, my God, that's wonderful, and she was like clapping, and she gave me a contract. <laughs> So that was my, that's how I got into ABT. I found some papers looking through the past, <laughs> going 60 years back, because you know, I joined the company in 1953. And uh, I found my first contract, <laughs> and I found my first tour, and in it scribbled somewhere um, in the back, I have some of the roles that I performed and I had at that time danced about 40 different roles and traveled about 40 different countries with ABT. Well, you know, my, my first significant memory was in, in theme and variations at the, at the end of the ballet. The whole company walks forward, you know, going dum pa da dum pa bim pa bum pa dum like that. And I was in front of these wonderful dancers. And I remember getting so it's so emotional about it, you know, that I had made it that big. Well, the company was much smaller. There were maybe 42 dancers, 45, somewhere around there, and uh, it didn't have the importance that it has now. We had a um, smaller repertory. Uh, we didn't have really any full-length ballets to speak of. Uh, we toured sometimes 10 months out of the year. So uh, everything was more small scale, but always high quality. The company has just gradually progressed to where it's now. A very, very important institution, I think. <laughs>